guys doing? This is your boy Mike Fallon back at it again with Citizen Cinema. Got my co host today, my homie T Row right here. What's up? Uh, video editor extraordinaire, great, great creative uh, mind. Yeah, you, if you guys want to check out stuff, I'll put the link at the end so you can check out stuff after the video. So today, uh, the news we're going to be breaking down. We're going to be talking about Spider Man, Justice League, Godzilla. We're going to be talking about It, Robert Rodriguez, and O'Shea Jackson Jr., which I know is a weird combination, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got my voice back, you guys. That's why I sound like, like a heavy smoker. But I don't smoke at all. Uh, okay, first thing we're going to be talking about. What were your thoughts on the Justice League trailer? I liked it. It's, it was very action-y, action-y, explode-y. <laughs> but it was good. Okay. Uh, I think my, my favorite character out of this is The Flash. Maybe from the TV show, but yeah, I'm looking forward to see what they do with Flash. I, I like Flash. I think, for me, Aquaman was my standout. He was cool. Yeah, I just liked how we had like parademons, parademons dying left and right. Yeah, that was like the funniest. Like towards the end, he's on the car. He's like, "Oh, I got this!" (laughs) Yeah, that looked cool. That looked really cool. Uh, Quick breakdown for those who didn't know. So, characters that were like side characters featured: the gentleman in prison that puts his hand on the glass with the Flash. That is his dad. If you don't know about the Flash, long story short, dad gets set up for the murder of his mom by a future speedster. That's about it. And so his dad, at this point in his life, is in jail until he gets freed. Uh, the woman you see underwater, that is Aquaman's wife, Mira. The thing about her, did you know about Mira? No, no. All right, make it super simple. She's like a waterbender from, like, Avatar. Okay. Like, they, like my favorite thing I read about her in the comics was, um, there was, like, an instance where, like, a guy was like, killed his wife and then killed his daughter, and she walked up on him. But she was on land visiting, she's like, you know, you don't have to do this. He put the gun in her face. Instead of, like, freezing up, she freaking snapped on him. And she ripped out the hydration and bodily fluids through his pores. So, like, she's a beast. Like, she's almost as de- more deadly than Aquaman. Oh, wow. That's like, cool. That's how, that's how she gets down, bro. Um, yeah, other things. What else have you noticed about the trailer that you think that leads to the story? Um, I guess there's, there's the no Superman thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um... They reused a lot of the flash footage because I wanted to see more flash, <laughs> but they reused a lot of flash footage from the previous trailer. But yeah, yeah it's still a while till we see the movie, so that, I guess it's not a big deal. Um, they didn't show too much of of um, Cyborg, yeah. but also what they did show, I guess, was he had a bit of a CG face going on. But they didn't show too much of him. I'd like to know a bit about uh, know a little bit more about him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I think with um, with this one, they're just going with the New 52 feel. Yeah. That's basically what it is. Okay. Even though now we're out of New 52 in the comics and we're yeah, back to yeah. Rebirth, which is just, it's a headache within itself. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I like that. I just liked how, um, if you notice it, the same African-American actor who plays uh, uh, Cyborg's dad is the same gentleman from Terminator. Oh, and, yeah. And, and then, uh, what else? He was in another one with him as a robot. It was, um, you know what I mean? It was, he used the same technology. Yeah, so he was, a, he was this, Terminator, and it was a third one. I can't remember what it was. I remember I saw someone do a meme on it. I was like, you need to keep this, him away from technology. <laughs> yeah. Just put him in a cabin in the woods with like some candles. <laughs> yeah. He's good. Just right. keep him away from tech. Yeah. Oh, it was Eureka, the third one. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Man, I haven't watched that in a while. <laughs> yeah, I just saw a few episodes of it. Yeah, that, you know, it was cool. You know, they went topsy-turvy, so... Yeah. But yeah, so that was, those are our initial thoughts. Uh, I think Batman was great. Yeah, I like I like Ben Affleck as Batman. Yeah, I, I like how um, he has this, he has that charm to him, like from the cartoon. Yeah. When I look at Ben Affleck, I think about the '90s cartoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And he has when he has the the cowl on, he's the grumpy Batman. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Aquaman yeah. walked the bottom. Oh, you're bad. I dig it. <laughs> and Commissioner yeah. Gordon's like, you're playing well with others. He's like, eh, well, we'll sell it last. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is hilarious because in the comics Jim Gordon became Batman yeah that's right yeah, yeah. he took over for a while which I wish yeah. they would have done that would be crazy that would be interesting well I mean because you know J.K. Simmons is playing Jim Gordon man he's buff you've seen him work out you, seen, you saw those videos no. so I'll put, replace it with this it's called Jim J.Y.M <laughs> like, he's six foot he's ripped man wow like he can fight wow. like real talk but uh, so, yeah those are our thoughts um, only thing I did notice if you watch the trailer again so you see the Atlantean's mother box, the same scene as Aquaman's wife. Okay. You see the human's mother box, which is with Cyborg's dad. And I think they said there's a third mother box, but I, don't, I forgot who has that one. Okay. 
Because humans have it, Atlanteans have it. Oh, uh, Amazonians. Oh. They have a mother box. That makes sense. So I think that's why, well, yeah, remember, because we see them in the trailer. Yeah. So I think that they're defending their mother box from Dark Side. Okay. Yeah. Or uh, Steppenwolf, that's the main villain, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, but I agree with everything you're saying, and uh, that's one of the things I noticed the most about the trailer. Cool. So, yeah, those are our thoughts on the Just League trailer. All right, so get out of the way. The Spider Man trailer came out. Cool. Was. <laughs> he didn't want to watch it because he has his own personal views yeah. about watching it. Yeah, I want to try and go in Virgin Eyes and, and oh. see as little as I can and hear as little as I can about it. So, uh, I've just been scrolling through Facebook. I see the little, <laughs> the trailer starts and it's like, oh, keep scrolling. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, and you're not missing much, they used a lot of footage from the last trailer. Yeah, okay. Basically, and then what they did add new, I can't say in front of you now, I'm about to do it on my own, but <laughs> uh, they show you a lot of the story now, and it takes place after Civil War. Okay. So, it doesn't take pre-Civil War where he fights the vulture, he stops and comes back, no. This is pure, purely after Civil War. But the thing that I've noticed even from the last trailer, a lot of people are complaining about, a lot of the story they show us in the first initial trailer is taken from Miles Morales' comic. Yeah. And yeah, the, way he, the way his friend busts him. and this, yeah. that, The same friend is now um, going to be turned to the Hobgoblin. What? That roommate. That roommate, the one that discovers it. The, okay. oh, the, the Asian kid. Yeah, he's going to be on the Hobgoblin. Mm. And then, then yeah. Uh, yeah, so my initial thoughts of the trailer, I like the new footage that they showed us. Yeah, they showed me the interactions between him and Iron Man. And I think that that dynamic's working really good. Yeah, that's going to be fun to see. Because it's like you got two geniuses, one's the rich, one's not, and how they're going to have to work together in the film. Yeah. Because it's like, it's just like, so like, like when dreams come true, we see them team up in the comics now, we're going to see it on screen. Yeah. July 7th, 2017 is going down, y'all. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Bro, it's gonna and be then, I feel like the way they did Vulture is gonna be legit. I just I wonder if he has his power still. Like, like cause uh, for those who don't know, Michael Keaton's character is the Vulture. Vulture, if he touched you in the comics, could take your life essence and become younger. Oh yeah. So I don't know if they're gonna show that. If they did, that'd be cool. If not, I understand. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so those are our uh, thoughts on the trailer. For what I can say in front of T Row, I'll do a separate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two, I'll do a separate video later. <laughs> All right, you guys. Also, another story we have for you is the trailer tomorrow is going to be dropping for Stephen King's It. Uh, from all the looks we have so far, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it, man. Yeah, me too. I like the way the clown looks. Mm. Yeah. I just think of those memories as a kid being <laughs> so freaked out. Like, I was way too young to watch that movie. Bro. Because <laughs> Tim Curry, man, he's going to make a cameo in it. Oh, really? Yes. That's interesting. Because the thing is, it's like they were showing at South by Southwest. Okay. And they said, like, the audience, was, they said that and Alien Covenant were the scariest footage showed of South by Southwest. Oh, wow. Like, audiences are screaming. Like, they, like, like, they were actually genuinely afraid. Nice. And Stephen King even gave his cosign on it. Oh, wow, nice. Like, yeah, he doesn't like people making these movies. No. He gives them the rights to it, but he like, likes like, it. Like, Stephen King is like, yeah, like, this is the one. Like, yeah. like it looks like this might be better than the original. Oh, wow. Because they're sticking st st close to the book. Yeah. Because the original one was a two-part miniseries, like the TV yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. And they're doing the same with this one. Oh, really? So this will be part one, and then part two is going to be coming out later. Okay. So, I think with this one, we might be seeing more just the kids when they're younger. Okay. Because remember, there's two sections. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they're younger. They're young and older. Yeah, so, um, I wonder what it was going to be like when they're older, and, um... I wonder what, if you think, I wonder if it's going to still take place in, like, the 70s, or you think 80s? Was it 70s? I, I think... I, yeah, I'm not too sure. It might have been the kids with the 70s and then the adults with the 80s. Yeah. Uh, 90s. Yeah, something like that. Like, yeah, because every 30 years that it happens. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, because when the original TV movie came out, yeah, it was take place in the 80s, but the kids had flashbacks to the 50s. Okay. So now, since we're closer to tech nowadays, that either they might stick to that time frame or they could be doing it where the kids are in the 80s and then they show how they're scarred adults in the nowadays, 2017. Yeah. Which would be crazy to jump between uh, either 77 or 87 to 2017, depending on how much they want to do it. And then, how do you feel about the look of Eric Skarsgård as a, not Eric Skarsgård, but Bill Skarsgård? Uh, wait, is it? I'm blanking out. Well, uh, Bill is, yeah, yeah Bill Skarsgård. Yeah, he plays the clown? Yeah. Yeah. He looks awesome. I think it's a good look because 
it's kind of like how do you I mean there's a, a bunch of different ways you can go with that clown design but it looks good I like it yeah because it has like the old like Victorian era yeah. type looks to it yeah but it's just like man it's just creepy yeah it's super creepy man yeah. so well when the trailer drops we'll be getting the reaction from the channel you got yeah you guys so that's our thoughts on it all right y'all next subject we're gonna be talking about pirates of the caribbean he took everything from me and filled me with rage now have you seen the new trailer yet yeah yeah how do you feel about it so far it looks like fun like i haven't seen all of the movies i saw like the first two or three Same i think yeah. i saw the first three I feel like it four. <laughs> yeah so now it's kind of like yeah, pirates johnny dip's character is super cool so that's i mean that's a reason to watch it but and the Harvey Bardem is just because the new trailer came out this week for it. I but, think I saw the new new one. No. But the new new ones, it's a rehash of what we've seen already. It's okay. nothing really new to it. Oh, okay. It's just it's looking like Johnny Depp, like um, Jack Sparrow, uh, caused this guy grief when he was alive, okay. and because of him, this guy became a cursed pi uh, pirate killer. Oh, okay. So that's basically what we're getting so far. Okay. So you get a little bit of the origin story of Jack Sparrow, which I think we should have gotten like the fourth one. Yeah. Or the third one, more, you know yeah. what I mean? So, it's, they're making money, basically. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, because I don't know if they're ever going to stop making them. Yeah. That's the thing, but uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, but it sort of does feel like a reboot of the original, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it kind of feels like a reboot type of thing with the young, um, uh, it's a Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow, you got yeah. the young uh, Orlando Bloom and Kieran Knightley's pro, uh, archetypes. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, it looks like fun. Uh, on to the next. Okay, y'all. So, we got reports that Robert Rodriguez is in talks as a front runner to do the reboot for Escape from New York. Snake Plissken, all right. Start spreading the news. I'm even today. I want to be part of it in old New York. Did you ever watch the original? Have I? I don't think I've seen the original. It was Escape from LA. That's the sequel. Yeah, I saw so, the sequel. I saw the sequel first, and then I saw the original. Okay, I haven't seen the original. So, actually. but you, we get the gist how the world yeah. works, right? Yeah. So basically, you guys, for those who haven't watched it, you don't want a spoiler. Spoiler alert, right here. So, in an alternative timeline in '97, uh, New York City has returned to an actual prison. The entire city is a prison. The president uh, crashes into New York, and Snake Plissken, which was played by Kurt Russell, has to go in there and get him out within 24 hours. Yeah, I remember that premise, yeah. Yeah, because like, they did something similar to it in Escape to L.A. Yeah. with his daughter. Yeah. So, I think Robert Rodriguez is perfect for this. Yeah, I like Robert Rodriguez. He's yeah. like over-the-top action. Yeah, he's a good fit for that movie. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be crazy. Because I just really feel like... Um, with all his past work, I know that everyone has liked everything he's done, but I mean, he gave us, like, look, he did Machete, Dust Till Dawn, he just, he just wrapped on Battle Alita, Battle Angel Alita. Yeah. That's the anime right there, so, I mean, even with that. That should be interesting. Oh, yeah, man, because he has his people in that, uh, and because he collaborated with James Cameron. I mean, the guy's working with James Cameron. Yeah, that's like, awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing yeah, what, what like, that looks like. Like, who could really say they want people like that? So, yeah. I have faith in it. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I think so, too. I really like his stuff. I have his book, uh, Rebel Without a Crew. And that's like, after I read that, I was like, I need to make my own movies now. Yeah, exactly. That's really good. Yeah, so I guess, you know, that's, that's what our thoughts on it so far. All right, on to our final score. So, and, I don't know, I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this. So, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ice Cube's son, has now joined the cast of Godzilla Part 2, King of Monsters with Millie Bobby Brown who's 11 in Stranger Things. Thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Well, I saw the first one. I mean, it's a fun, it's a fun action mm -hmm. monster movie. Um, but yeah, with O'Shea Jackson in there, it's going to be cool. <laughs> I mean, because I can, at the moment, I can only think of him as, as Ice Cube in, yeah. <laughs> in Straight Outta Compton. So you see how Ice Cube reacts to Godzilla? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm a Compton, you ain't nothing new. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can only see him as that, because I haven't seen him in anything else. That'd be hilarious, yeah. though. And, like, he's, he's running away from Godzilla, but with Jerry Curls. Yeah, yeah, with oh, Jerry Curls. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, y'all. But no, nah, man, so 
I mean, he's coming into his own as an actor. Yeah. I mean, like you saw Shadow Compton. I mean, I know people have their views because he's his son, but I'm like, he was good. He was like the most qualified person. Yeah, like, he was, he was really the good. most believable out of all four. Yeah. For me, it went him, and then the actor who played Dre, and well, no, the, the, with him, the actor played Easy, and then the actor yeah. played Dre. Yeah. Even though they, and those are like basically three they focus on the whole movie. Yeah, that's true. Even yeah. though we should have got more DJ Yellow, MC Ren, I feel like those three yeah. like were the ones that shine. And it's hilarious that they, it's actually happening. Because after that comes out, they're doing Godzilla vs. King Kong in 2020. Yeah. And the gentleman who played, Jason Mitchell, who played Easy E, is now in Kong Skull Island. Right. With the gentleman who played Dr. Dre. Right. Yeah, I saw that when I was watching Kong. I was like, it's. So Dr. <laughs> Dre versus. Yeah, it's NWA Kong. versus King Kong. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys yeah. think about it, so, I mean, Easy E and Dr. Dre got stuck in 1973. O'Shea Jackson Jr. Got, uh, Ice Cube got stuck in 2017. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. have to meet together after all these years in time to kill the monsters. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'd watch that movie. I know, man. Can you imagine the albums they make about that? <laughs> right. Yeah. To live or die in Skull Island. <laughs> or something like that. You never know. Yeah. Uh, I'd watch that. <laughs> yeah. Sure, 1954, and that's the year Godzilla came out. <laughs> yeah. I, well, you know what? I'm going to give him a shot. At first, I was sort of turned off by the idea, but yeah. as I thought about what he's been trying to bring as an actor, he puts his heart into it. So, yeah, um, yeah it's actually shining through. Because yeah. not everybody has that acting you know, ability. So, let's give him a shot. Yeah. And so, I, re I really like Kong. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. Well, it's like, a, it's like a, almost like a music video, just like epic shots, like really pretty shots with crazy explosions and just, just people posing and <laughs> looking stylish. Because it's NWA. <laughs> It's the NWA plus yeah. Marvel because you got Nick Fury, Peggy Carter's right. boss, Loki, and Captain Marvel right. <laughs> with Easy E and Dr. Dre versus Kong. Yep. That's a crazy. <laughs> well, sorry, you guys. It's just. I'm just thinking about that and how crazy it is. Yeah. Plus Samuel Jackson. Plus Samuel. He should do like a Snake Song Plan type thing. Get tired of these mother and gorillas on this. Skull Island. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, so you know what? We're going to give him a shot. And thus, those are our reports today for this episode of Citizen Cinema. t -Row, tell the people where they can find you, bro. You can find me on Instagram at Dreadlock Dragon without the first A, D-R-E-D-L-O-C-K-D-R-A-G-O-N. And you can find me on Vimeo, t -Row Rose. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, t -Row Rose Films. And that's, yeah, that's where you can find me. YouTube, Tiro Rose, yeah. Yeah, y'all. And again, sorry for the delay in posting videos when it comes to for these type of episodes. Uh, Allah's been going cr uh, crazy with me right now. So much has been affecting his cinema. For those who don't know, Tiro knows, though. Uh, I was in the movie La La Land, and I also have two other productions coming up, which have been throwing off my timing. So right now, I have some free time coming up. I'll be posting more. And I'm going to bring you guys more good content, all right? Thanks for staying with Citizen Cinema. Catch you next time.